Hey. Hey, what? No. No, I'm just no. Kidding. I'm just no. Kidding. What the f Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to Nikki in Real Life. No, I'll show you clips and pictures of my real actual life. Okay, so this week has been super busy and I will get to that. But every time I get a spare minute at home, I am decorating the shit out of this place. So I don't have a lot of time to do it, but when I do, look at this. Check it out, check it out, check it out. How Pinterest is this shit? First of all, this was from Target. What? 25 bucks and it holds our keys and I love the color. These were little things that I already had on my desk that I don't have a place right now. It's got a little mirror so you can like check yourself before you leave out the door. And then these were a set of two I got from a place called All Modern. By the way, not sponsored, but I will leave links if you are interested in uh, getting them. This, I want to tell you about this. I'm still obsessed with plants and I want to tell you about this because I just love learning new things about them. So this plant is actually this plant up here on top of the fridge. Uh, I think it's called a pythos plant or pathos, pythos, something like that. Anyway, it's a really easy plant to take care of. It grows like crazy and um, it does well in a lot of lighting conditions. Also, non-toxic to cats, huge plus. But the coolest thing about this plant is you can cut the leaves off the end of the plant and you can stick them into water. So there's water in here. You stick them into water like, like flowers in a vase and they start growing roots and they just grow in the vase. They just stay alive in the vase. How cool is that? So I got that little area going on right here. Also new addition, these shelves. I had these already in our last place, but they look so much better in here. Like look at this living, oh don't look over here, it's really messy, but, but like look at this living room. It's really coming together. I put a few of my crystals up here because this is the prosperity corner of feng shui. If you wanna see a feng shui video, I guess I could show you that, even though I feel like more of these videos just make me look like more and more of a freak. But um, I do like feng shui, I've been doing it for 10 years. I'm not an expert, but I like, I like the way it makes me feel. And this is citrine and amethyst. We got an amethyst geode over here. Books up there, just this is more decorative than anything, but this is Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. I like the color of her cover. This little succulent was like two bucks at Trader Joe's. And then this is a PF. PF Candle Co. Company candle. I, I really like that company. Here's the other thing. I wanted to make sure to show you this while it's happening because Steve thinks I'm crazy because it never looks like this when I'm trying to explain it to him. As I'm learning more about plants, I'm telling you, my plants talk to me and they tell me when they need things. So this guy, this is a croton plant and supposedly they're really hard to take care of. Like when I was doing research on them, um, a lot of people's croton plant doesn't even make it home with them after they pick it up from the store because it just hates being moved. But my croton plant loves me and I'm so happy, it's so happy here. So croton plants are toxic to pets. So I have it up up off the ground. The cats aren't even interested at all in going up there, right? You don't even care, you don't give a shit. I put it here because croton plants like direct sunlight, so this is like direct, direct sunlight. But let me show you what I mean when I say it talks to me. Okay, so you think I'm crazy, but croton plants, they don't like to be watered a lot. They like the soil to be like pretty dry, like humid. It's like an orchid, so don't like overwater. But this leaf right here talks to me, and I will show you what I mean tomorrow morning. See how all these leaves are like this? They're like, yay! This leaf starts to droop when it needs water. This leaf goes like, oh, and then I know it needs water. So I'm gonna water this, and I swear by the morning, this leaf will be like, yay, like all the other ones. Same with these roses. These roses, they're looking a little discolored now, but a couple days ago, I've had these for two weeks, and a couple days ago, these four were all like looking dead. Like they're completely drooped, they look shriveled. If you had them in a vase, you would've thrown them away. And I gave them a little bit of water because roses are also very picky. They like their soil to be moist, but not dry and not wet. So it's like really hard to get them exactly what they want. And also they like to have not direct sunlight, but a lot of light. Picky mother So yeah, I watered it, and then the next morning, they were all beautiful roses again. I'm a plant whisperer. I'm a cat whisperer, and I'm a plant whisperer. I'm gonna get this croton plant some water, and I will show you in the morning what I'm talking about. 
Also, this pot for this plant, I got it at Target for like two bucks. It didn't have proper drainage, so what I did was put pebbles down first, and then I put dirt on top of it. My spider plant doesn't love me as much. If you look closer than this, it has like brown leaves in it, and I just don't know how to properly water it. It's just really hard because the roots are above this thing. I think what I'm gonna try to do is get a spray bottle and like start watering it that way, but if not, I was just gonna take these, um, these little spiderettes that are here, you can cut them off and plant them into new soil and they become a new plant. Because otherwise, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to do with you. I used a drill for the very first time when I installed this. Here's how that went. First time using a drill bit. It's happening. I wanna hang some plants up right there on my ceiling. Someone drilled a hole that wasn't me and it's too big. Hate it when the hole's too big. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> I don't have safety goggles. Yeah, I didn't know to wear safety goggles, but I learned very quickly. So every time I used a drill after that, safety goggles were on. I redid our back patio, it's looking mighty fine. Also these lights are so pretty at night. I made a video about it, it'll probably be out on Thursday of next week, so come by for that. And then I think that's it for what I've done around the house. Last week was super busy besides that. We started off the week going to JK party. We're here. We're at JK party. We're partying. We are party. We are the party. I am the party. Look at all the party. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Yeah, we're at JK party and we're finally playing Mafia, which is Steve's favorite. It's all he wants to play. I can't wait for Mafia. He wants a whole day of Mafia. I actually do. I want a whole Just day of Mafia. mafia. And don't kill and me. And I get day of Don't kill me. And What's up, everybody? Don't kill me. I like his performer voice. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah. And then Gio's changing back there. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. Oh. Gio got wild. Mom's got wild. Mom's got wild. Mom's got wild. Gio is the hardest person to play Mafia with. I've only played with her once, but she's like too good. Like she's too intuitive. That's why she gotta die. Oh. <laughs> she gonna die. But the games have been real fun so far. Thanks, Ant, even though you didn't do anything. Oh, I didn't do anything. I didn't know everything. <laughs> yeah, I set up every single game today. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Here's so. a little cheat sheet right there. That's all the yep. cheat sheet. Yeah, I wrote all this. Okay, I spent all night doing this. I made mean, everything. Spoilers. 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 <laughs> no. people again on JK News. Good morning. We're here at JK News today. JK party was on Tuesday and then JK News is on Thursday. I feel a little under the weather but um, we're gonna make it happen. Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you excited? Those are all kind of synonyms but I'm assuming if you're one you're all three. Boom! Oh no one's here. Oh. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yes! Thank you. Good morning. Dude, you look We're so still cute. getting ready. I need to get ready too. So. What are you talking about? You look amazing. I didn't put my mascaras on. I'm no eyes today. Look at this face compared to that face. Come on. Oh, shut up. Yeah, please don't compare that. <laughs> I don't want to be compared to her. Tiffany last night was like, don't be late. So my camera battery died at that part, but I was trying to say that Tiff was like, don't be late. And I was very on time because I wasn't with Steve that day. And then we went to an Instagram party. Hey. So we're in the Pacific Palisades right now. Look at this, oh my gosh, look at this ocean. All I wanna do is jump out and swim in the ocean. I did bring my bathing suit just in case, but I am recovering from a cold, so maybe I shouldn't do that. Yo, this water is straight up flirting with me right now. Stop being so sexy. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to not go to the beach instead of this party? Do something cute. Hey. Hey, what? No, no, I'm just no, I'm just no. What the? F I knew Instagram creators were very young, but I was unaware how young of creators would be invited to this party. By a lot, the kids outnumbered the adults. To be honest, I don't know why they invited 30-year-olds mixed in with toddlers. It was real weird. Professional, high-quality Instagram creators.
What else? I dropped a jewelry line that is sold out already. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that at all. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'm working on getting more of them. We also have new pieces coming out. Really excited about. Uh, after that, we had a housewarming party. It was my first time getting to host people at our place since we moved in. Good afternoon. We're having a party at our place in like 30 minutes and almost nothing is set up yet. I have a hot dog bar going on here. I did a video on this for Tasty Tuesday. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. Now, I'm setting up the bar area, my favorite place to set up. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute I am though? I cut up limes and I put them in a coconut because it's a freaking summer party. Oh. I'm just too adorable. I think maybe too adorable. Now I'm cutting up orange slices to put into a punch. Gotta make that a big old party punch. And uh, yeah, then I could start setting out some food. I ain't a man that you've been looking for. Hearts being darker than a devil's soul. I ain't someone you bring to mama's house. And then, uh, yeah, after that punch, I guess I just got way too tipsy and didn't record any of the party. But it happened. It was the real thing that happened. I don't have any pictures of it, any video of it. You just have to believe me. And now here we are, back up to date. Wow. Since 4th of July was on a Wednesday this week, all the parties that I'm going to are on the weekend. I say it like I'm invited to a lot of parties. It's just like one party. But I'll show you some of that next week. Thank you so much for watching. Just want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace, before we go. Whether you need a website, domain, or online store, you can make it with Squarespace. And you can make it really easily because they have all of these designer templates. You don't have to know code. You can just literally pick out a template that is beautiful and then you change their words and images to your words and images and then boom, it's like you made your own website from scratch. Amazing. If you got a business you wanna promote, a side hustle, a wedding, it's wedding season. I know a lot of people are planning weddings right now. You're gonna want a website. I wish I had a more professional looking website when I got married. I didn't. I didn't know about Squarespace, but if I had, I would've had had a way better looking website. Like, look at this. Look at this wedding website. With Squarespace, there's nothing to install, upgrade, or patch ever. And if you need assistance, they have 24-7 award-winning customer care, okay? You just be like, yo, I don't know what's wrong with this, and they will help you out. So, go to squarespace.com for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Limo, and you can save 10% off of your first website or domain. How cool is that? Boom. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if you enjoy watching my life, but there it is for your viewing pleasure. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this or this. Oh, you don't want to miss any of this. Oh, look at this. I didn't even have to wait till morning. This is the leaf I'm talking about. It's not like this anymore. It's like, yay. It'll come up more in the morning, but like, it's talking to me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, but you looked.